Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, there's been some things going on in my life, uh, personal things or whatever. Uh, I'll probably make a video about it um, sometime in the future, if you guys want to know or whatnot. For uh, One of the things was I couldn't get my recording software to work, and then also my headset blew up. I'm using my brothers right now, so it's fine. Um, but today we're going to be talking about the new R70 Ajax light machine gun that 3D prints its own like bullets or something like that. Um, it's pretty cool. And we're going to, um, I'm going to give you guys some tips about this weapon that I haven't seen anyone on YouTube yet uh, explain or go into detail about. I'm also going to talk about like uh, custom classes and stuff like that, if you, you know, some things that may help you guys out. Um, so uh, right off the bat, um, you don't need scavenger. Um, it holds 50 bullets. There's no extended mags. I'll show you guys the uh, weapon attachments uh, later on in the video. Um, but there's no fast mag, there's no high caliber, there's no long barrel, there's no uh, extended mags, there's none of that stuff, or fast mags or whatever. Um, so uh, there's only a handful of attachments, which is good because you don't have to go att attachment heavy on this weapon. Um, it's pretty good just like naked. It has very low recoil and it's it fires a little higher than like 650 rounds per minute, something like that. Um, the bullet regeneration, it regenerates um, like three like three and one third bullets or 3.3 bullets every second so you, if you just sit down and let it completely fill up um, it takes it just under 15 seconds it's like 14.7 seconds or something like that um, but yeah right here you can see all the attachments um, or I'm sorry hold on there it is you see the suppressor it has grip stuff like that on it um, my recommended loadout for it is stock um, quick draw and I think rapid fire that's pretty much it the thing you have to worry about with rapid fire obviously is you're gonna be firing a lot faster and if you look at how the weapon really you know it's it's printing its ammo it doesn't print it immediately you know when um, you stop shooting you have to stop shooting you have to wait a little bit so it's best to just spray with it and just mow down whoever and however you can and then stop and then do a good full recharge and then go back in um, I've, I've seen a lot of people like recommend people to like play conservatively with this and stay back and kind of camp and hose down and stuff like that. I, I've had the best experience playing with it and so have several of my other friends. Um, kind of like rushing forward, spraying, and then retreating and as the enemy is coming back towards you, kind of retreat, hide in a spot, mow them down, and kind of just, you want to you wanna use this as a stealth weapon, I guess, like if you were having, if you were, you know, if you're trying to be stealthy with a suppressor or something like that, um, that's kind of how you want to play with it, only you don't have to necessarily run a suppressor. And also, if you back up the video just a second here, um, there's something I wanted to mention real quick. Um, it will recharge your bullets, um, or it, real, it will print your bullets when you're inside kill streaks. I was in that hellstorm, it was at like 31 bullets, I got out, it was at 49, and it, so it did print it up. One other thing is that scavenger does not help this weapon at all. So if you have scavenger running, you're wasting a perk point. Um, and this, of course, you're using it for a secondary or grenades or whatever. Um, but one way to actually completely refill all of your ammo at once uh, very quickly is just run over another person who has the same weapon. Um, you'll see in a second here, um, I think I end up running over um, somebody's weapon and it completely it, like I have like two bullets left and it completely fills up the whole gun. That's a really good way to do um, to kind of use the gun and stuff like that. Um, another thing is that you, you want to kind of build your whole class around suppressing the enemy after you're done shooting them. So running things like the uh, Rolling Thunder like I'm doing here, that's good uh, because it makes everyone go indoors and as long as you sit outside or you're away from it or whatever, you should be alright. Um, but uh, right now I'm using my like recommended in quotes class setup here um, with quick draw rapid fire and stock. Um, it's pretty good it the, again the only thing you have to worry about is how quickly you run out of bullets because you run out of bullets pretty quick um, with this weapon um, I think that's about it I mean the recoil is relatively low I think I don't know if I mentioned that earlier it's relatively low it's decent damage it's pretty consistent throughout like I've, I haven't you know had to just continue to belt people with bullets in a game so it's pretty consistent throughout range and stuff like that um, it's it's a very stable weapon so um, 
that's about it. I think I've said um 600 times in this uh, commentary right now. So I'm going to head out, let you guys finish watching the video. There's only a few minutes left to it, and I will see you guys in other videos. Uh, I have a FFAR um, video coming out soon, so look for that. Peace.